Alrighty guys, so I got a little operation going here on the RCA uh, little mini cube fridge here. Looks like I made a mess here. Some uh, oil. Um, little spots everywhere. But I'll show you what's cooking in the fridge. So we have a good amount of um, medicine. Medicine, medicine, medicine. These are all kind of rubs. Body rubs and stuff like that. In here I have soaking in ethanol, pure ethanol. Is some more uh, medicine. Kept in the fridge. Soaking away. Um, now I utilize the fridge here guys because uh, the top of the fridge when it cycles gets warm uh, on this particular fridge and why do I want some passive heat well as you can see if the light isn't totally blaring here um, in these glass containers you can see some small little bubbles of there's a tad bit of ethanol still in there evaporating off via the uh, passive heat. Now, these guys I just filled up. So these three, one, two, three, um, I just filled up out of this plastic container because I like using glass as opposed to plastic. And for some reason I didn't have any glass so I got these little plastic dilios from my rubs that I make um, and these guys are just sitting out on the fridge and it passively heats and evaporates any possible tiny little remaining um, ethanol that's in forgive me guys my camera is uh, well it likes to act up every once in a while and I cannot focus worth a darn so you can see the tiny little bubbles there in the medicine and that is just evaporation of little uh, trace amounts of ethanol totally safe to consume now because it's only about 60 proof ethanol um, but you definitely want to drink water with it but by putting them out leaving them out instead of putting them in the fridge right away um, you're gonna ensure everything all the solvent is boiled out and you'll have a nice clean product like uh, this guy and the camera doesn't want to focus Cause it hates me <laughs> so very min minuscule little nothings um, ethanol is um, very safe to consume in very small amounts uh, aka alcohol <laughs> and uh, yeah so just a little pro, little pro tip here guys um, I also was filling a syringe up to make pills for my dad and I just have a little toothpick um, to stick into each little portion move it around um, normally it will uh, if I stir it up you'll see all the solvent any remaining solvent drop to the bottom of the glass then you can pour it out into one of these containers that has hardly anything in it let it sit overnight the fridge will cycle on and off by itself as is anyways so you might as well utilize it for some free heat energy to uh, uh, ensure total pure product gotta love it and so a buddy of mine gave me some CBD coconut oil unfortunately um, this one's oak okay. whoa this one's okay, 
it's liquidy. He went a little too crazy with the amount of coconut oil in this one though. It's about half liquid at the bottom and then too much coconut oil at the top. Yeah, wonderful. So I might take some of that CBD tonight and maybe a little bit of the real stuff <laughs> uh, as well. So uh, the reason I'm filming this guys is uh, wanted to show you that little tip and Unfortunately, my dad has been off this stuff for about a year um, in uh, maintenance dose amounts, which is uh, one to two grams a month. So he hasn't been doing that for about a year, and now he has a reoccurrence of you know what, but it's in another spot and it's aggressive. So I make little pills, if you saw that video, he takes the pill, swallows it whole. That's the best idea. Um, it's recommended to swallow it whole in a pill capsule to treat internal nasties like, uh, you know, uh, the big C. And I gotta talk like this because of YouTube's crappy community policy policies. Horrendous. Um, but anyways, um, that is what's been going on here. So I'm making a new batch uh, brewing, and then I'll video that for you guys. Uh, those other containers are, like I said, just rubs. The darker ones are higher concentration. Um, the darker the better, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, this is just a little cool tip using my fridge, which is already gonna be in use. Why not put out all your stuff, let it slowly, passively bubble off any remaining solvent that you may have missed in your boiling process, and you're good to go. So we're gonna be uh, fighting round two for my dad, and go from there. So stay tuned for updates on that. <laughs> 